Action. How's it going? I'm Leslie Miller, sommelier with AmuseWine.com. Two E's. Two E's. <laughs> Amuse. Two E's. Leslie, two E's. That's how it rolls, folks. Hey, I'm hanging out here at Costa Copas Hill because we had another perfect pairing here tonight. If you missed it, hot damn. You are missing out, baby, because we had a phenomenal night with fabulous wines and, of course, one hot pairing and one hot menu for my good friend, Mike Shannon of Cooks of Crocus Hill. We are here because we are enjoying and lavishing in these wines. We just can't get out of here. We're loving it up. Uh, what we had tonight and one of the best pairings tonight of, of uh, really the menu was a great Sancerre. Of course, Sancerre is a region in the Loire Valley, eastern side of the Loire Valley of France, and the great folks is Sauvignon Blanc. A lot of people describe it as having cat pee attributes, a little pee pee du chat in the nose. What do you guys think? A little pee pee du chat? What is yeah. that? Cat pee, baby. <laughs> Do you think it's from Well, you know, cat pee. It smells a little bit like cat pee. I don't know how else to describe it, but it had a little kind of um, bright citrusy tone to it that can be described as, I don't know, you guys give me your pairing. I think when I tasted it with the salmon that was it was paired with, it cleansed my palate. It had a very, very bright flavor of citrusy, limey, lemony sort of attributes. Absolutely. And Mike, tell us about what the salmon in papillote was all about tonight. Salmon in papillote, classic steamed salmon in paper, the translation. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I did some fiddle and some carrot and some pea pods along with a little bit of leek under some salmon, a little coriander, butter, a little splash of of uh, the Sauvignon Blanc. Love it. And what really came across with the Sauvignon Blanc to me is it was an old world Sauvignon Blanc. Crisp, clean, but a little more body than that of the new world mm -hmm. Sauvignon Blancs. Mm -hmm. So it really, really carried to the butter in the dish, the butter in the salmon, the richness of that dish really, really came out well. I don't think prepared uh, another way would have paired as nicely, but that together in Papillote and the Sancerre, Spot on. Great job. Remember, when you're talking about how to pair, you're not looking at the color of the dish, right? So you're not looking at the color of the salmon, the pork, the chicken, the steak, the boar that you're eating. You're looking at how you're actually preparing the dish. And tonight, what we did with the salmon is we wrapped it in this paper. We added butter. We added these fresh vegetables. And so really the idea behind it was to pair up to the ingredients but not overpower the soft, feminine flavors of the actual salmon itself. And so we wanted to keep the flavors fresh and clean and bright and finish off so that you can move on to your next um, really piece of the puzzle here in your dish. And as a Sauvignon Blanc dissolved in your tongue, it totally cleared all those pieces out. So it was, a, it was a, just a great pairing. Ooh. Old world Sauvignon Blanc, Sauvignon and Papio. It right. made every single bite worth it and delicious. And mouth watering. And that's what we are here at Costa Crocus Hill. Mouth watering. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Thanks. Ha, 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 ha.